we wanted to show you a cyanuric acid test. We've already filled the container on the right to line number seven with our swimming pool water. We will be using the cyanuric acid reagent filling the container to line number 14. Then we'll shake for 30 seconds. Then we'll add that solution to the small cylinder on our comparator test block and we will fill until we can no longer see the black dot in the bottom of that container from the top. So while we're shaking we'll explain a little bit about what cyanuric acid is. Cyanuric acid is also called conditioner and it's also called stabilizer. It protects the chlorine from the ultraviolet light of the sun. It holds the chlorine in the water longer which is why we use it outdoors and not indoors. We do not want any cyanuric acid on an indoor pool. So you have to be careful about the product you use to chlorinate your indoor pools. Most three inch pucks contain cyanuric acid. So technically they're not ideal to use indoors. So now we'll fill the comparator and I'm looking down from the top until I can no longer see the black dot in the bottom and then we'll compare the level of the water to the number on the side of the container and get our parts per million reading. Ideally we want a parts per million between 30 and 50 for an outdoor pool. Less than 30 ideally zero for an indoor pool. Here's a view from the top so that you can see the black dot I've been talking about. Filling it up I can still see the black dot. Starting to fade quite a bit. Almost not see it but it's still there. Still see it barely. Yeah, one more drop or two and it ought to be gone. Yep, I can't see it any longer and there you have a cyanuric acid test. And then we compare not the number to the water level you can see it's well above the 30 mark giving us a reading on this pool of less than 30 parts per million of cyanuric acid thanks for watching